bad signal. Rooftop briefing. Almost feels like the good old days. <laughs> <coughs> well, if you mean the city's crawling with masked lunatics and I'm not the commissioner, you're not far off the mark. That's not what I meant. You've been demoted. Waller busted me down to deputy ops. Everything's gotta go through her office now. <sighs> uh, have demotion still tied up in paperwork. For once, the bureaucracy is working in my favor. Here. You're welcome. It's information on Harleen Quinzel from sealed records we dug up at the coroner's office. Harleen Quinzel's father committed suicide after decades of struggling with mental illness. A uh, tough story. Quinzel was a devoted, successful doctor. But she couldn't save her. Must have been hard on her. The trauma of her father's death caused her breakdown. Turned her into the monster she is today. Now, I know what she's done, but I can't help but feel a little sorry for her. It's gotta be rough on a person, going through all that. People are traumatized every day, Jim. Most find a way of dealing with it without having to bash people with a hammer. <laughs> I guess you're right. Gordon, you're dismissed. This is still my goddamn station house. He's forgetting I'm the one who can make or break his career right now. You only remind me every other minute. Clearly, I need a better method of getting the message across. You're both behaving like children. Watch your tone, Batman. Or what? You'll put him on timeout? I've been lenient with you so far, but don't push me. She's got some kind of leverage on you, doesn't she? If she's jammed you up somehow, just say the word. I'll appeal to the mayor, the governor, whatever it takes to get her off your back. I'll do whatever I can to help you. She knows who I am, Jim. Oh, yeah? Well, so do I. You're Batman. That's all you ever have to be. That's all Gotham needs you to be. And you, if you're threatening to take that away, you should be ashamed of yourself. I don't want to hear it. Just supposed to come to Gotham, put the chains on Riddler and his gang, and get the hell out. I'm just saying, this city gets under your skin. Fast. Know what I mean? Best laid plans and all that. I suppose not. You've committed your life to cleaning up these streets. That job will never be done. Well, I guess you locals see it differently. Agent of Esther. She fought to get on this assignment, you know. Wanted to see her old neighborhood. Wanted to see you. Her hometown hero. She wanted to impress you. She admires what you do for the people of this city. Your respect is important to her. Does she know who I really am? Who do you think told me who you are? <laughs> For the world's greatest detective, you sure can be slow. So, Wayne Enterprises. Heard you made some new friends. You're having me followed. Thanks to you, these very bad people have an EMP and a key that'll open every lock I would want to keep bolted shut. They're clearly planning something. The stakes are too high to leave anything to chance. You know, I actually considered asking you to infiltrate Riddler's gang. Before everything blew up, I knew I could count on you to get me close to them. Close to Bane. You're good at this. Seems like you've already won Harley Quinn's trust. What you saw was just a test. An operation like theirs requires someone with your resources. As long as you don't blow it, they're gonna want to keep Bruce Wayne around until they take him for all they can. Get them away from their base of operations. Somewhere, they'll be exposed. When they're all together, out in the open, contact me. 
I'll be standing by, ready to ambush. We'll take them down when they're at their most vulnerable. Sound good? They'll never know what hit them. If we do this, I want to guarantee that no one gets killed. No one dies. No one has to join murder gangs run by maniacs either. Look, I know your code against killing, but I won't risk my agent's safety for a band of sociopaths. Batman, if it gets bad for you, just remember, we're out here. When you're in deep like this, you need friends. Let's say everything goes pear-shaped, and you get stuck in there longer than you'd like. Then what's right, what's wrong, it all gets blurry. And guess what? That's okay. Because you're going to have to do some blurry things that you are not proud of before this is done. You hear me? That's just how these kinds of operations go down. Whatever I have to do to put these scum away, I'm sure I'll get over it. That's the spirit. Al, I'm in. Just don't stay embedded any longer than necessary. I'll be in and out, Alfred. Just long enough to figure out their plans. Good luck, Bruce. Stay safe. now welcome to our little hideaway and home away from home the end of the line we're happy to have you thanks john you said you'd kill him after you got what you needed so what ain't a girl allowed to change her mind could someone get me out of these handcuffs please <laughs> tell me why i shouldn't kill you It seems like the Prince of Gotham is more like an empty suit. I bring us back the transport and the arms we require. You, you bring back a worthless aristocrat. We don't need his money. We have what we need to finish this, thanks to me. He ain't worthless, you overgrown bicep. He already got us an EMP device and the failing scheme. I betcha I can find a use for him. I do not care how much these two swoon over you, Wayne. We don't want you here, and we don't need you here. Ah! Whoopsie. What the hell? Shut up! <laughs> Turn it off! Turn it off! Now! Can you do something about this? It's freeze. Freeze is coming. What have you done? <laughs> You need to uncuff me. Don't screw this up. You fool! I can turn it off. Make it stop, or I will seal you both in ice! I swear, if you don't get that electricity back on immediately, I'll send you to a frozen hell.
least we know that it works. I must check on Nora. See how she is. You may have impressed these two, but I haven't made up my mind about crushing your skull. Fair enough. Everyone back to work. There's still a lot to get done. Who put you in charge? Somebody has to give the orders. That was a nice job before. Come on up to my office. Listen, Bruce. I just want to clear the air a little. You distanced yourself from us back at your office. I don't blame you after all the trouble I caused. You probably noticed I like to stir things up. It's a bad habit. Well, it's made me more enemies than friends. I want to say I'm sorry for messing with your people. Your employees. I know they probably mean a lot to you. Thank you, Harley. Your apology means a lot. Really? You probably think I'm a terrible person, but I want you to understand. You've seen these animals I work with. In my business, you let your guard down for a second, you get torn to shreds. I can only imagine. If I'm always pushing buttons, it's to keep people off balance, you know? Keep them guessing my next move. Keep the real me hidden. I hope you ain't gonna judge me for it. To be honest, I've been at it so long I don't even notice I'm doing it. It's just a part of who I am. I'll be honest, Harley, I wasn't sure what to make of you. I'm impressed. I'm gonna take that as a compliment. But don't push your luck. You ain't like these others. Bane's a powder keg, Freeze. <laughs> well, you saw Freeze. John's sweet, and believe me, he's got heaps of potential. But he's still a growing boy. You, though, you got your head screwed on right. You're reasonable. I can work with reasonable. We're pulling a job tonight. I want you to be a part of it. You already showed you know how to use that EMP better than any of these other clowns. I want you to come with. I'm in. Just tell me what to do. That's what I wanted to hear. All will be revealed eventually. Using that EMP, though, that's gonna make tonight's job a whole lot less messy. And that no-neck asshat Bane, he loves making a mess. <laughs> People getting killed just makes his day. If you're gonna come with, you gotta convince the others. Convince them? It's a real pain in the ass sometimes, but you need a majority opinion for anything big. And bringing you along... Well, you got some persuading to do. Let me know how I can help. So what's the deal with Freeze? He's... unique. You mean why he's blue and wrapped up in machinery? Accident in the lab. Here's the thing about Freeze. Only thing he gives two hoots about is his wife. He gave up everything to try and save her when she got sick. And I mean everything. Job, health, soul, the whole shebang. She's dead? Frozen stiff. Keeps her on ice in the next room while he searches for a cure. Ain't that just kooky? I mean, that explains why he flipped when the EMP went off. But seriously, who does that? I don't know. Sounds pretty romantic to me. Bruce, you big softy. I suppose you could see it that way. It's just made him into such an angry person. You know? It's tearing him up inside. Talking about his wife is the only way to get Freeze to pay attention to you. But watch yourself. His attention ain't always a good thing. I get the feeling Bane doesn't like me very much. 
That knucklehead respects strength and loyalty. Show me got those, and he'll come around. He's a man's man. I don't got much time for all that burly machismo, but sit him down for a beer or something. He'll hear what you gotta say. He may kill you when you're done, but at least he'll listen. I'll go talk to the others. See what I can do to change their minds. I've got faith in you, handsome. sensing from this group. your wife and I hear me out I might be able to help what do you mean you'll answer me if you're smart and understand the concept of self-preservation what you're doing well that kind of love is rare my wife followed your goings-on in the society columns Wayne you are more familiar with lust than love. That's how I know how precious that kind of love is. What if you get caught? Sent to prison? What happens to your wife then? What do you propose? I own technology companies, Victor. Big ones. You could house and protect her. Continue your research to cure her. Why? Why would you do this? It's what I do for my friends. I don't have friends. People, then. It's what I do for my people. How very vague. I almost fell for it. You don't care about mine, Nora. You only care about yourself. An empty suit. The sooner you're gone, the better. Time to sort through all this. Not with them watching me. see where Bane gets his fashion sense. I was hoping to get another chance to speak with you. Thirsty work. My throat is dry. Fetch, Wayne. <laughs> what the hell do you want? Bane doesn't want us talking to him. Get out of here. EMP shielding. 
This material will keep whatever it's insulating from being affected by the EMP blast. It's so good to see you. Like, so good. Always good to see you, John. I've been wanting to say, Bruce, thanks for helping me out before and your office and uh, making me look good. I actually thought you'd be mad about what happened before at Wayne Enterprises. You know, Harley really seemed to be... Not at all. Harley and I talked and talked about how lame you are. <laughs> it was by far the longest we've ever talked without her losing interest. It was great! I should have known right when we pinky sweared that everything would work out great. Harley wants me to try to get in good with Bane and Freeze. I think you're well on your way to doing just that. And I've been doing, you know, what I can to uh, help, too. You didn't catch it? But it looked like Bane might kill you. I set off that EMP, you know, as a distraction. Thought it might give you a chance to show off your technical skills in front of Freeze. That's the only thing I think he really respects. That was intentional? John, how did you manage to do that? No Bane was going to kill you? Seemed like a safe bet. No, no, Lucius would have put safeguards on the EMP to keep you from doing exactly what you did. Then I guess we both got really lucky. And wouldn't you know it, you nailed it. You already know I like you, Bruce. You better get cracking on getting those other guys to like you, too. Because I don't want to have to watch what happens if they don't. Did you have one here? Oh, that spot was for Batman. <laughs> you like Batman. <laughs> What's not to like? I only saw him for a second in Arkham, but... Oh man, I'd, I'd love to see him again. Of the room. A thousand watt face! How'd you two meet? Same way you and I met. In Arkham. She found me at a dark time and gave me a reason to live out here and experience all this. I don't see how we aren't destined to be together. <laughs> it just wouldn't make any sense. Now, Bane loves that beer. I bought some for when I need to talk to him. He's scarier than anybody in Arkham.
always thought you looked thirsty. Riddler's friend, I have to know. Are you here for payback? Did you come for revenge? Answer me, or I will break you in half. Riddler is dead. Any revenge I wanted, I already got. He did not deserve such an end. But you have a point. In this line of work, one cannot be too careful. Trust has been the hardest thing to find. Especially after Riddler's death. Yes. Men you can trust. So hard to find. He was with my crew at the police arsenal. Fade! The prisoner he was supposed to be guarding got away. And yet he doesn't have a scratch on him. This is crazy! I suspect we have a traitor among us. One begins to smell a rat after Riddler's murder and that prisoner getting away. Loyalty is all that we have. But there can be no trust unless I can believe that you are who you say you are and that you are really willing to do all that you claim. Only one of you walks out of here. You know me. The sooner one of you picks up that pipe and bashes the other's head, the sooner we get this over with. Fine. I'll prove it! do have what it takes to join our pact. The package is moving! What's going on? The job we've been getting ready for. It's happening. Good. I'm ready. Not so fast, the money bags. You're not in the pact. Not yet. Not till everyone votes. What do you say, boys? Bruce Wayne. Ian? Or out? The aristocrat is not afraid to dirty his hands. I say we add him to the pact. In. Wayne is as shallow as his reputation would lead you to believe. He would only drag us down. Out. Bruce is strong and smart and handsome. Like, super handsome. It's nuts, you guys. And Where was I going with this? Right, right. I vote in. Well, aren't you, Mr. Popular? We got a majority, folks. Bruce is in. You've earned a ticket to ride, pal. Make sure that EMP shielding is on those APCs. I don't need any surprises. Time to get that package. Remember, when we work together, no one can stop us. When we work together, the world can be ours! Let's go! Somebody grab that thing, it's important. Let's go hit him with the hind! We are close. Make your device ready. Will do. EMP primed and ready to go. Harley. Yeah, what? We have almost reached the target vehicle. Uh-huh. What? No. You no, are no. providing our escape. Yeah, Waller. I... Make 
on the move with targets. Track this signal. Get your people here now. We've got your signal locked. Cavalry is on the way. <laughs> now we do this. Wait, what in the... I gotta say, Bruce, now that we're actually here and it's really happening, I'm feeling some butterflies in my stomach. We have an obstruction ahead, both lanes. Armored vehicles. Service weapons at the ready. Do not engage. Now, Wayne! Do it! What was that? What the hell is going on? HQ, do you copy? My gun, it's fried! All comms are down. Move! Carry the torch, Mr. Suit. Stay sharp! Secure the vehicle! is on the perimeter. Keep yeah, them. yeah. Freeze! Open the door! Everyone, stay sharp and keep order. And I'll no sudden moves and no talk. Strike it. Go on. Quickly. You're wondering what's in there. Find out for yourself. <laughs> Back off! Or I'll shoot. No! No! Don't. Break it off! We don't have time for this. We're not done here, Wayne. I would not turn my back on him. I'll leave this clean up to you, but hurry. Men, seize the cargo. Get out of here!
nice work back there, Brucey boy. You really know how to show a girl a good time. Have your fun now. Oof, the Iceman bummeth. If Bane survives, you'll make us all pay for abandoning him. Bane will survive, and he won't let this slide. Nice, probably having a ball. Cracking skulls. Freeze is right. If he makes it back, he's gonna be furious. Oh no, was so scared. Yeah, you should be. All right. We got the package. Be grateful you're around to see it. <laughs> Intrigued, Brucey? Wanna know what's inside? Go on. Open it. Think when he was alive. You really put us through a lot of trouble, Mr. Smarty Pants, getting yourself killed like that. We needed you for the next stage. I've got what you need. For the right price. 